hope we do work again, Will, because I don't know how much time you got left. Um, and I would, you know, I would love I, for us to I, do something before it's too late, man. I don't give a Shut up, You gonna lose. I guarantee you that. Buzz, shut do you up. you rich? Is there something you know about me that I don't know? Hollywood heavyweight Will Ferrell drops a shocking bombshell, revealing Kevin Hart's alleged run-ins with the FBI. Cheap as hell, though. One of the most... <laughs> one of the... One of the cheap? Oh, my God. Will doesn't... I don't think Will has spent the penny. But what if Diddy's infamous party tapes hold the key to everything? A-listers, federal agents, and secret tapes. This isn't just Hollywood gossip. It's a thriller waiting to explode. The day will come and we will name names other than Sean Combs, and there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. Why is the FBI interested in Hart? And how does Diddy's mysterious footage connect the dots? Buckle up, because things are about to get wild. Kevin Hart just can't seem to dodge drama. Folks say he puts on that nice guy act for the cameras, but behind the scenes? Some think he's more of a jerk than he lets on. If everything stopped there, do you survive? Yes. You're a liar. Yes. Oh. Oh. Do you have a home? I make more money on trains Do you than have, have a home? home? There are even rumors that he cozies up to people just to climb the Hollywood ladder, with some calling him a straight-up Hollywood plant. Just check out this video. I don't know if you've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? Kevin's reaction has left a lot of fans scratching their heads, wondering why he was so quick to shut her down. Rumor has it, these are the same people pulling the strings for Kevin and plenty of others in the industry. On top of that, his interactions with other celebs have stirred up even more debate. Like, when Will Ferrell was on a show, Kevin made this sly comment about how they should team up again, before it's too late, throwing a little shade at Ferrell's age. I hope we do work again, Will, because I don't know how much time you got left. Um, and I would, you know, I would love I, for us to do something before it's too late, man. That joke didn't just flop, it sparked a ton of backlash, with people wondering how far Kevin's willing to go for a laugh at his friend's expense. And it didn't stop with Pharrell. In early 2023, Mark Wahlberg was on Kevin's show, opening up about his early struggles in Hollywood. But instead of keeping it respectful, Kevin started cracking jokes about Wahlberg's age, which didn't sit right with him. Wahlberg didn't hold back either. He called Kevin out for what he felt was straight-up ageism, saying he felt disrespected instead of recognized for his long career. As a young guy trying to achieve the success that you have already achieved. You ain't that f***ing young. Well, just Stop hold f***ing with everybody that's hold a little on. bit... You'd think Kevin would take a hint after these incidents, but it happened again with Don Cheadle. What was supposed to be a light-hearted exchange came off to some as heart-mocking Cheadle's age. Although intended as comedy, not everyone was laughing. At the same time, like I said, and me, you know, I'm 56 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And recently, Kat has also talked about how Kevin is being controlled by some elites. Cat Williams has recently become the focus of headlines, having uncovered some unsettling allegations about the industry's hidden truths. It's widely acknowledged that a select group of individuals wield significant influence in the industry, including well-known figures such as Oprah, Diddy, Steve Harvey, and Tyler Perry. However, the latest reports indicate a new addition to the list, none other than Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock. Allegedly, he has been implicated in various nefarious activities alongside these industry power players and is primarily involved in controlling Kevin Hart. The collaborative bond between Johnson and Hart stands out as one of the most lucrative in Hollywood over the last decade. Despite the seemingly unconventional pairing of the wrestler-turned-actor and the comedian, their creative partnership gained widespread acclaim starting with central intelligence. Audiences quickly embraced the unique chemistry between these two performers, resulting in a string of successful collaborations and a consistent output of entertaining content. It's okay, Maggie, it's okay, just relax. This is a very common reaction in the therapeutic process. It is? What? It is, it this absolutely is. is. Calvin, this is a very safe place. Please sit down. Their collaborative success extended to the revitalization of the Jumanji movie franchise, where Johnson and Hart, alongside Karen Gillan and Jack Black, starred in two films. Both movies were well-received and demonstrated strong box office performance. The dynamic between Johnson and Hart has garnered such widespread appeal that it transcends their on-screen collaborations. This is evident in meta-contexts, like Hart's cameo in Fast and Furious, 
Hobbs and Shaw as an air marshal who interrogates Johnson's Luke Hobbs. Recently, Dwayne The Rock Johnson took to his Instagram to share a heartwarming response to a compilation video featuring Kevin Hart's playful roasts directed at him. The compilation includes various clips of Hart good-naturedly ribbing Johnson, whether on the set of Jumanji or in a parody of one of The Rock's own Instagram videos. Johnson posted the video with a caption that reflects the camaraderie between them, describing their relationship as two dudes who work hard and love giving each other S. Well, this is a good question. Why is Dwayne Johnson called The Rock? Well, he's stupid. I've got, what do you mean that I'm stupid? Because IQ. So I am. That Dwayne is dumb as a rock. No. This post has sparked speculation among internet users, suggesting a potential mysterious connection between The Rock and Kevin Hart, possibly contributing to Hart's current demeanor. Recently, Kevin Hart hosted a party that raised many eyebrows and further fueled the speculation against him. The event, named the Dirty Money Party, resonated with irony and foreboding. It was a spectacle of excess and camaraderie, leaving many to wonder about the deeper implications and connections at play. Uh, before, before I begin into to trash and did it, you know, I'm going to acknowledge him on a special day. This event wasn't just another celeb hangout, it gave a peek into what really goes down at these exclusive parties. The connections made there ran deep, tangled up in mutual favors and unspoken deals. In this world, Kevin Hart and Diddy weren't just buddies. They were allies navigating a space where fame and power were one and the same, and that alone had people side-eyeing Kevin's moves. DJ Academics jumped in with his take, offering an unfiltered, no-holds-barred view of the party. His commentary, mixing humor with disbelief, cut through the glitz and glamour, revealing the bizarre reality behind the scenes. He didn't hold back, pointing out the weirdness and over-the-top luxury, painting a picture of a world that's anything but ordinary. Go in there, brother. Through academics' lens, the party comes across as both a wild celebration and a high-profile spectacle, giving us a deeper look at the weird dynamics between big names like Hart and Diddy. His sharp observations strip away the glitzy surface, revealing the carefully choreographed nature of celebrity interactions, where every gesture, every word plays a part in the grand performance. Academics goes beyond just the party vibes, digging into the bigger picture, exploring themes of power, influence, and the hidden truths of life in the spotlight. His commentary bridges the gap between the everyday person and the elusive world of Hollywood elites, giving viewers a rare glimpse of what really happens in these exclusive circles. As Academics breaks down specific moments from the party footage, his insights reveal the power dynamics and subtle hierarchies within the celeb circle. His raw take on these interactions gives viewers a peek behind the curtain, encouraging them to think critically about the relationships, performances, and broader implications of celebrity culture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fab came to party, party. Oh, sh At the Rock Nation brunch, Hart and Diddy were in full show-off mode, radiating confidence and charm with every word. Their speeches weren't just about charisma. They were all about cementing their status as major players in the industry. But underneath the smooth talk and flashy smiles, there was a deeper layer to their relationship. What looked like casual camaraderie was really a carefully staged act, designed to boost their brands and maintain their public personas. In these spaces, Hart and Diddy weren't just pals, they were business partners, each playing their part in the performance of celebrity culture. Their connection was a mutual hustle, with both knowing exactly how to work the game under the watchful eyes of the public. Beyond the brunch, whenever they were spotted together, whether at award shows, charity events, or laid-back meetups, their chemistry was on full display. They seemed like two industry giants perfectly in sync, laughing and bonding like lifelong friends. But in the world of entertainment, friendships like theirs are rarely just about hanging out. They're a mix of shared goals, mutual benefits, and strategic alliances. We uh, we um, we want to thank you. Come here. Don't don't sit on the bed or nothing. No homo. No, just just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. When you're in an industry where public perception can make or break you, friendships in the limelight can be more about smart moves than real connections. And Hart and Diddy knew this better than most. Every joint appearance wasn't just a celebration of their personal achievements, but a message of unity and strength. In a scene where rumors and scandals are always lurking, showing up together sent a power powerful signal. They had each other's backs, both as friends and business allies. More family, more freedom, more ownership, more wins. Yes, sir. Anybody else got anything else I forgot out? Goddamn right, I got one. Yeah. 
Kevin Hart engaging in a questionable interaction with some individuals he was seated with. If the reports are right, that guy he is humiliating so bad is actually his friend. Now keep that in mind as we tell you of the allegations that have emerged suggesting that Kevin Hart's been screwing over fellow black artists. Seeing the footage above, does this allegation really seem so far-fetched after all? That circulating footage has definitely sparked scrutiny and raised questions about Hart's actions within the community. Just look at what Kevin Hart is telling someone that's supposed to be close to him here. Me, me I've had money before you and gonna me after me you. If everything stopped today, can you survive? Yes. You're a liar. Yes. So, after this video went viral, many people have come to believe that Kevin Hart just loves to impose his powers on other black artists. Hey, then I can't survive. Make Why sure don't boss ever lie? Yes. Why don't? Do you have a home? That's dumb as Do you have a home? I've been making money way before this. Why aren't you answering the question? You sound dumb. Why don't? No, I'm sorry. The video was enough to raise speculations about Kevin's past alleged incidents where he was not seen to be a good man. According to some sources, many celebrities have talked about him and how he is not apparently good for young black artists. Let's start with Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle reportedly shed some light on Kevin Hart's alleged dark legacy and how Kevin can do some inappropriate activities for Hollywood only for the sake of money and fame. They put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career. I'd be connecting them down like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? Over the span of several years, Hollywood has faced widespread criticism for its contribution to perpetuating various stereotypes, particularly those that significantly influence the public's perception of black individuals among a substantial audience. This period has sparked a debate highlighting the contention that the limited opportunities available within the entertainment industry have compelled black artists to accept stereotypical roles as a necessary means of sustaining their careers and livelihoods. A weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Although the entertainment industry hasn't fully attained racial equality, contemporary performers do possess a degree of agency over their choices. What proves intriguing in the realm of these modern figures is their apparent openness to undertake cross-dressing roles. With Kevin Hart's name standing out notably in this context, you can remember when Kevin Hart appeared on SNL dressed as a small girl. Uh, Pope Convention is lifting her arms into her signature muscle man pose. Everybody started criticizing Kevin for being someone whose actions didn't support his words. Before this show, Kevin showed up in an interview and clearly said that he would never do unprofessional activities for Hollywood as other people did in the past. I was like, no, I'm gonna look stupid. <laughs> the other day, you gotta know that you're a brand. But right after this, Kevin appeared on a TV show irrespective of protecting his brand and dignity. Why this thing bothered Dave Chappelle is because he is a man of dignity and has always spoken for black people in the industry about how they are treated like garbage by Hollywood elites. Kevin doing all these absurd alleged things bothered Chappelle, and he reportedly spilled tea on every single detail of who tricked Kevin to appear like this on the TV screens. Dave claimed that Kevin Hart is being trapped and manipulated by Illuminati and also through Jay-Z. Kevin's actions on that show made people speculate that Kevin and Jay-Z are both part of the Illuminati. With how close those two appear to be, people are blaming them. Made a shift from money, mm -hmm. I'm getting it what yeah. you're not getting the life that I'm living mm -hmm. to what we as people need to open our eyes to, what we need to understand. However, Jay-Z and Kevin are not the only celebrities that came to the eyes of the Illuminati. If you all remember, Dave Chappelle also once turned down a role of a whopping $50 million and flew to South Africa. According to Chappelle, the demand from Hollywood elites to do comedy that he didn't want to do became too much for him, and he flew away. When he went on to the next plateau in his career, a dispute started going on over the source of the outside pressure that was forcing him to do things that he didn't want to do, and some people have theorized that it was the Illuminati like they did with Kevin. However, Chappelle vanished, leading everyone to speculate that he had gone insane. However, it turned out that he just wanted some time to rediscover who he was and possibly rectify everything he had previously done. Dave reportedly revealed that he had been deliberately put through stress, but Dave has also shown the nerves of man, and he never let himself sell to some elites. And Dave always denied everything to do that went against his dignity, be it even a $50 million comedy show. 
Dave said, I don't want the money. I don't want the drama. I just want to do my show again. Chappelle explained to Oprah Winfrey that the primary reason he decided to leave the program was because he feared he would no longer have creative control over his own talent. I was doing sketches that were funny but socially irresponsible. He said, it was encouraged. This is one of Chappelle's most excruciatingly honest statements, not only about himself, but also about the entertainment business as a whole. But that's not the only time Hart's name has surfaced in connection with the mysterious group. The comedian's participation in the Illuminati was the subject of much controversy, but the first is someone who has been suspected of being an Illuminati member for a long time, Jay-Z. Some keen observers claim that the two celebrities recently discussed the shadowy group on the comedian's television show Heart to Heart. As they talked about how to give youth more agency, Jay's expression said it all. Jay-Z described how he is broadcasting his experience via Rock Nation, but some viewers think Kevin accidentally revealed his claimed affiliation with the Illuminati when he commented on the room with the door behind it. Yeah, he never had access to yeah. that sort of information. I call, it the, I call it the room with the door with the door behind it. You never get to that door. As soon as Kevin had finished his comment, spectators stated that Jay-Z's menacing glare was sufficient to cause him to stop speaking. If you take into consideration what Dave Chappelle stated about him and what he says about the world in general, you'll realize that Kevin's actions caused a lot of people to worry about the reality of his involvement with the Illuminati and whether or not it was actually true. It is becoming more and more obvious that there is a great deal more going on behind the scenes than these people are able to convey. It appears that Dave Chappelle interviews have not been an exception to this norm, as his career has been defined by his uncompromising honesty, and these interviews are no exception to this rule. Chappelle, despite his fame, avoided working in the Hollywood industry, and some of his colleagues even left the country in search of more genuine opportunities. However, there was one interview in particular that caused conspiracy theorists to go into a frenzy about it. During Chappelle's conversation with James Lipton, many of his fans believe he was trying to hint at some kind of connection to the notorious Illuminati. Some individuals were led to assume that Chappelle was placing himself in danger as a result of his aggressive statements, which included comments concerning the mental health of members of the Hollywood community. He said, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you, dot. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy. It's dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's BS. People are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. He also mentioned that he intended to escape to a farm away from the corruption of the entertainment industry. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. On top of that, Dave has mentioned that Kevin Hart and Jay-Z are super tight. And of course, the internet can't get enough of the rumors linking Jay-Z to the Illuminati. There's also buzz going around that one of Jay-Z's 2009 singles might be making a comeback, with the music video supposedly dropping on YouTube soon. And if Kevin's tight with Diddy, some folks are speculating that he might be tied up in some shady stuff too. Sinbad, once considered one of the comedy legends of his time, has been out of the spotlight for a long while. But recently, he started sharing the reasons behind his absence. And surprisingly, Kevin Hart seems to have played a major role in shedding light on the whole situation. We got to get Ricky Lake off the air, y'all. We have got to get Ricky Lake off the air. Where does she find these brothers? When it comes to Sinbad, that kernel of truth feels more like a towering monument, especially for those lucky enough to catch the first ever installment of the 2015 speaker series hosted by Indivisible. Sinbad had the crowd beaming with laughter, and it was clear he knew how to keep everyone entertained. You might not expect a comedian to be so clued in on community and civil rights issues, and honestly, finding humor in those topics can seem a bit tricky. But Sinbad nailed it. He took the audience on a trip down memory lane, uncovering some uncomfortable truths while still delivering his hilarious material. Man, I'm telling you, this, this has been a, I've been, I got a chance to be here this morning and, and being this evening and, and it, there's so much energy here and, and I'm, it's good to see young people. Sinbad sympathizes with the struggle of the black man, but made it very clear that he doesn't accept such struggles as an excuse to tap out on life or to get out of your responsibilities. I understand why black men feel like we feel, but we can't use it as no excuse. I ain't down with no excuse, man. I refuse to accept that as an excuse. At some point, we have to quit complaining and take what we want. We don't take what we want. I look at brothers saying, man, I can't pay this child support. She won't even let me see my kid.
If someone took your car from you, you would chase them and fight them. If someone took your car, your golf clubs out your car, you would find your golf clubs. There ain't a woman that can keep me from my child. There is not a woman walking, even if I hate you, that can keep me from my child. Well, it is claimed by Sinbad that they wanted Kevin to take the spotlight, and he became successful to make his place after Sinbad. After moving to New York, Kevin Hart embarked on a journey in stand-up comedy. Navigating the challenges inherent in the comedy scene, his career took time to blossom. Despite facing obstacles, Hart's unwavering persistence, inherent talent, and distinctive comedic style eventually catapulted him into the realm of a household name. Marked by numerous successful shows and movies, Hart's rise to fame is a testament to his resilience. I never witnessed the happy years between my mom and my dad. I only saw the downward spiral. Focusing on themes derived from his tumultuous upbringing and personal encounters, Kevin Hart crafted an award-winning formula for his stand-up performances. His narrative stands as a powerful illustration of the significance of perseverance and determination in the relentless pursuit of success, even when confronted with adversity. Kevin not only defeated him in comedy, but also in the acting too. Kevin Hart stepped into the acting arena in 2002 with a modest role in the TV series, Undeclared. However, it was his appearance in the 2004 comedy film Soul Plane that marked the beginning of his recognition in the industry. Despite mixed reviews for the movie, Hart's performance showcased his talent, opening doors for broader opportunities. <laughs> Chicken or beef stroganoff? As his Hollywood presence grew, Hart diversified into production through his company, Heartbeat Productions, contributing to various projects. Simultaneously, he maintained a strong connection to his stand-up roots, proving himself not only as an actor, but also as a thriving force in the world of comedy. Want more and go after more. There's a, a high level of success that goes behind the brand of Kevin Hart. Although Sibin's career trajectory has changed dramatically, Sinbad recently spoke about the success of films like Black Panther. We were so happy to see black people, black heroes, dark skin, bald heads. I said, Jesus, that was the most eclectic group of blacks I think we'll ever see in another movie. Now the key is, what are you going to do next? Because sometimes success almost scares them like, look man, that almost worked too well because now we can't say that it doesn't work. With such a promising career, fans are wondering, where did it all go wrong for Sinbad? In short, his health, taxes, and bankruptcy put a huge damper on his career. We've seen this time and time again, celebrities spending more than they're bringing in. This can be a risky lifestyle, especially when Hollywood stops calling. Now, people are buzzing that the FBI might dig up some evidence against Kevin, especially with him being linked to Diddy. Their association could make things really complicated for him, especially since Kevin's already in some hot water. One person on the internet commented, Kevin is overexposed. Everywhere you look, Kevin Hart. He's advertising everything except feminine products, but wait, he just might. Another one added, Kevin Hart is still just a nobody trying to be a somebody. Most of the black community doesn't even find him funny, let alone mention his name. He's just not funny. We've had the best, so we know what funny is, and he ain't it. Um... And now, the FBI is known to move fast, and they put plenty of celebrities behind bars before, which is definitely a cause for concern for Kevin. The whole situation is starting to feel pretty alarming, and fans are watching closely to see what happens next. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.